Agoraphobia is an anxiety disorder characterized by an intense fear and avoidance of situations or places that might be difficult to escape from or where help may not be available if a panic attack or other distressing symptoms occur. Here are some key things to know about agoraphobia. Symptoms and Diagnostic Criteria Agoraphobia often develops as a result of panic disorder. The main feature is an excessive fear of being in situations where escape might be difficult or help might not be available in case of a panic attack or other anxiety symptoms. Common situations that people with agoraphobia may avoid include crowded places, public transportation, open spaces, or being alone outside the home. Impact on daily life. Agoraphobia can significantly limit a person's ability to engage in everyday activities and may lead to social isolation. People with agoraphobia may find it challenging to go to work, attend social events, or even leave their homes. Risk factors. The exact cause of agoraphobia is unknown, but it often develops after a person has experienced one or more panic attacks. Other risk factors may include a history of anxiety disorders, certain personality traits, such as being more anxious or prone to avoidant behaviors, and a family history of anxiety disorders. Co-occurring conditions. Agoraphobia frequently occurs alongside other mental health conditions, such as panic disorder, social anxiety disorder, generalized anxiety disorder, or specific phobias. Depression is also common among individuals with agoraphobia. Treatment options. Agoraphobia is treatable, and there are several approaches that can be effective. Cognitive Behavioral Therapy CBT, is often used and focuses on changing negative thought patterns and gradually exposing individuals to feared situations. Medications, such as selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors SSRIs, may be prescribed in some cases. Common Triggers While agoraphobia involves a fear of various situations, there are common triggers that often provoke anxiety in individuals with this disorder. These triggers may include being in crowded places, such as shopping malls or stadiums, using public transportation, like buses or trains, crossing bridges, being in open spaces, such as parks or parking lots, or being far from home. Onset and course. Agoraphobia typically develops in late adolescence or early adulthood, although it can occur at any age. The onset is often associated with a stressful or traumatic event such as experiencing a panic attack in a specific situation. The disorder tends to be chronic, but the severity of symptoms can fluctuate over time. Safety Behaviors Individuals with agoraphobia often develop safety behaviors or rituals to manage their anxiety. These behaviors may include always being accompanied by a trusted person, carrying a cell phone at all times, or avoiding specific situations by taking alternative routes. While these behaviors may provide a sense of temporary relief, they can reinforce the fear and maintain the disorder. Comorbidity with Panic Disorder Agoraphobia frequently coexists with panic disorder. Panic disorder is characterized by recurrent panic attacks, which are sudden surges of intense fear or discomfort accompanied by physical symptoms such as rapid heartbeat, sweating, trembling, and shortness of breath. Agoraphobia often develops as a result of the fear of experiencing panic attacks in public places or situations. Impact on relationships. Agoraphobia can place strain on relationships, as it may limit social interactions and activities that couples or families can engage in together. It's important for loved ones to understand the challenges faced by individuals with agoraphobia and provide support and encouragement. Avoidance versus confrontation. Individuals with agoraphobia commonly engage in avoidance behaviors to minimize their anxiety. However, gradually confronting feared situations through exposure therapy is a key aspect of treatment. By gradually facing and tolerating anxiety-provoking situations, individuals can learn that their feared outcomes are unlikely to occur, which helps to reduce anxiety over time. Relapse Prevention after successful treatment, it's essential to focus on relapse prevention strategies. This may involve ongoing therapy, practicing coping skills and relaxation techniques, maintaining a healthy lifestyle, and being mindful of stressors that could potentially trigger a relapse. Remember, every individual's experience with agoraphobia can vary. If you or someone you know is affected by this disorder, it is important to consult with a qualified mental health professional for an accurate diagnosis and appropriate treatment. 
If you found the information provided useful, I invite you to subscribe for more valuable content. By subscribing, you will have access to a wealth of resources and updates tailored to your interests. Stay informed and connected by subscribing today.